that I would vlog today. Um, not really got much planned. We, um, you'll know from my Instagram stories that I have had like a weird week, uh, sleep wise. I, um, on Thursday night, yeah, Thursday night, did not sleep a wink. Did not sleep a wink. Like, you know when people say, I really didn't sleep last night. I didn't even drift off and, you know, when you drift off and you, then you wake up and you're you're certain you haven't been asleep. There was definitely no sleep was had. I woke up at, sorry, I went to bed at midnight and um, was just watching stuff on my phone because I couldn't, couldn't sleep. Got to the point where I had no YouTube videos left in my subscription box to watch, which never happened. So I got to three o'clock and I thought, this, it's just, it's not going to happen for me. <laughs> I have accepted my fate. So I got up and I um, finished writing a blog post. And uh, that went live. It's actually all about uh, taking a sick day, which is quite funny because I probably should have taken a sick day yesterday because I had, had no sleep. But yeah, it's all about um, how, when you, <laughs> I'm going to say when you have depression, I in no way that my experience is the same as everyone else's because I read a lot of articles and a lot of blog posts and watch a lot of videos um, by created by people who have depression and their experience is not the same as mine. Um, I, I truly believe for everyone it is dif it's different and for everyone your your experience is valid like no matter what. Um, so when I say when you have depression I really mean when I have depression. Um, so yeah, having depression um, for me is makes it quite difficult to take a sick day because obviously most people get sick, they get the flu, they get the cold, get upset stomach and I still get that but I also get ill from my mental illness. So I feel like when I'm extremely low and unmotivated and get upset all the time and don't have the brain capacity to do basic tasks. I feel like that's a cop out. I feel like I don't want to use up a sick day on that when I might have the flu next week. And I really don't want to go to work when I have the flu. And as you know, well, most people know if you're employed um, in a job, if you're off for a, a lot of time or a certain amount of time or a lot of times in a row, if there's a lot of separate instances, um, you can be disciplined and you it can ultimately be let go. So it's uh, it's tricky. I try and save save my sick days for when I'm physically unwell. I also have a lot of back issues, so sometimes I physically um, can't can't walk. I had a really bad spell last year where I was walking like this, little hunchback. Um, and yeah, it was really hard to go to work. But anyway, the blog post is all about that and how it's kind of like a mental, on top of being depressed and anxious, having to take a sick day can be a bit of a mental um, issue as well. Because you feel guilty and you feel like you're a faker, you feel like people are going to talk about you. And who does she think she is having a day off because she's in a bad mood, you know? That's what we have to do with. So that is up. That I spent in the middle of the night writing that blog post and uploading it. And then I also uploaded, um, edited and uploaded my previous vlog, um, which just went up, which was a full day of eating, um, which was the first one I've ever done. It's, it's a strange one because I really like watching other people's what I eat in a day. But when I watched mine back, I thought it was quite boring. <laughs> I think we're going to have a lazy weekend. My husband seems to have been doing a lot of overtime this week as well, so I think we're going to have a quiet weekend. <clears throat> Might go to the cinema. We've got Sunny World cards. If you're thinking about getting a Sunny World card, go for it. If, as long as you go to the cinema once a week, you're then it's worth it. I think it's £17 a month, so that's really like... A cinema ticket's about a tenner now anyway, isn't it? So that's two visits a month and... That's it paid for. It's great. It's great for budgeting because 
even when you've not got money, you know you can go to the cinema. But some of you are not that fussed about seeing. You don't feel like, oh, I'm going to waste money on it. You can just go and see it and not feel not feel like you're wasting your money. So I highly recommend getting a Cineworld card. Anyway, that's enough rambling for now. Catch up with you at some point later on. Hope you're having a good day. So we have actually decided to go out. Um, I thought I would show you my outfit because I had decided to change because that shirt had always gone all static. So annoying. Um, so I've just got on my um, next denim jacket with this pin, which is the cutest thing ever. Can you see it? I'll zoom in if you can't see it. It says, anxieties, adventures, but anxieties is scored out because we're all about the adventures. Um, this very old um, chain, fuck, I don't even know where it's from. I am, um, this is no, no help to anybody, is it really? This is from Next, I think it might be from Primark, but years and years ago. This short sleeved v neck t shirt, like really long t shirt that's got kind of a little slit up the side. This is from uh, Primark or Primark as the English people say it. These leggings are the most amazing leggings ever. Oh, please excuse my dirty wash in the background. Uh, these are Sainsbury's leggings and they are amazing. They're like high waisted and really thick. Good for girls with big bums like me. And these little very old, very dirty pumps are from Sainsbury's as well. And um, my makeup is the Kat Von D Foundation Makeup Revolution Blush and Highlighter. Um, a Makeup Revolution palette. I use all the Makeup Revolution stuff. It's so good. Um, it's so cheap. Just like a little kind of um, mauve in the crease and then shimmer. L'Oreal Eyeliner and the... Soap and Glory Thick and Fast Mascara. And I always use Freedom Brow Pommies on my brows. If you think that my makeup is half decent, uh, give me a shout and I will do a proper get ready with me, like a weekend style get ready with me where I actually put on a decent amount of makeup. I am by no means an expert and I'm very minimalist, so if you look for like quick, cheap, easy to use makeup, then I could definitely do that for you. Oh, I forgot to show my bag this bag from New Look but the amazing thing is it's a handbag but it's also a rucksack so you can wear it like that or you can do um how do I show this like this and like I say I am like a very practical makeup hair clothing kind of person like I like things to be comfortable functional and to be honest how they look is like third down in the priority list so yeah that was like 20 quid from New Look and it is honestly one of the best things I've ever bought because I can fit my laptop in it and I can put it over my shoulders so yeah let's go I just put on this NYX 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 butter gloss in the shade BLG07 I don't think it has, it has a name yeah 07 it's really just like a pinky neutral kind of gloss. Um, if you're wondering what this bunting is, I put it up for my birthday in December and uh, my husband thinks we should take it down but I don't want to. Tell me it's okay to still have it up in June. I kind of forgot to finish the vlog, so I'm doing it now. Um, we ended up going to Ikea for a little Saturday afternoon trip. I got, we got quite a few things actually, um, including a new lamp, which uh, sounds sad to say I'm quite excited about it, but when you see it, you'll understand. Um, so I think I'm going to end it here and my next video is going to be 
a little tour of my um, home office. I say home office because it's a desk in my living room so it's not technically an office but it's where I do all my blogging and freelance work. And I posted a picture on Instagram um, this week of all the kind of styling that I've done on it recently and it got quite a lot of likes and I asked on Twitter and people said they'd be quite interested in a little desk tour so that's where the new lamp is going so you can see that in my next video. If that sounds like something you'd be interested in be sure to um, subscribe um, and also like this video if you enjoyed it um, and yes yeah, subscribe for more videos of random goings on um, yes, my blog is Fiona Likes to Blog. I'll leave the link for that in the um, comments, uh, in the description below. Um, yeah, my blog is very mental health focused, but this channel is going to be a bit of everything. I'm going to do some um, mental health videos um, over the next couple of weeks. I'm thinking about talking about girl envy, which is something I very much struggle with. And... Um, how I kind of stopped dieting after dieting for over 10 years so if either of those is of interest to you I would really appreciate you um, commenting below and let me know. Um, anyway, sorry I'm dressed like a bit of a hobo, this is how I dress at night time. <laughs> so I'm going to finish this up and yeah, like, subscribe and I will see you very very soon. Thanks for watching.